U.S. prepares larger than normal aid package for Ukraine. Politico reports that the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden is preparing a larger than normal package of military assistance for Kyiv against the background of the expected approval of additional funding for Ukraine in Congress. Politico reports that Ukraine's future military aid package has not yet been finalized. However, it is expected to be significantly larger than the last 300 million US dollars tranche allocated in March as an emergency measure. The publication sources indicate that the new package will include armored vehicles, particularly Bradley combat vehicles, Hum V military vehicles, and M113 armored personnel carriers, as well as missiles, artillery, and air defense equipment. One official who spoke to Politico said it was a big package to help meet Ukraine's battlefield needs. Bill Keating, a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives, said that a new package of military assistance after the decision of Congress will arrive faster than anyone thinks. Soldiers on the front lines in Ukraine say the prospect of final approval in the U.S. Congress of a $60 billion military aid package for Kyiv will serve as a giant morale boost as Russia looks to step up its advance. Ukraine's wish list is no secret. At the top, artillery shells and air defense systems. For months, Ukrainian soldiers on the front lines have spoken of being badly outgunned by Russian forces. President Volodymyr Zelensky recently said the ratio was 10 to 1 in Russia's favor. Now, with new U.S. military aid apparently just days away from receiving the green light, the question is how quickly vital munitions like 155mm howitzer shells can get to the front line to stop Russia's advance. Pentagon spokesperson Patrick Ryder, speaking last week ahead of the House vote, said the U.S. Department of Defense was poised to respond quickly once any order was given. From mid-May, a rather difficult situation is expected in Ukraine, including at the front the head of the main intelligence directorate, Kirill Budinov, said this in an interview with the BBC. Speaking about forecasts, we are facing a rather difficult situation in the near future, according to our assessment. But it is not catastrophic, this must also be understood. Armageddon will not happen, as many are now starting to say. But there will be problems from mid-May, he noted according to him, this also applies to the front. This is an integrated approach, because the Russians will use an integrated approach. They are carrying out a complex operation. We will not talk about this for a long time, but this will be a difficult period. Mid-May, early June, Budinov noted, when asked for clarification whether this would also apply to the internal political situation, he answered, it's about everything. Regarding previous rather positive forecasts, in particular, that the armed forces of Ukraine will soon be in Crimea, the head of intelligence said that he never regretted what he said, I never regret the past. Anything at all. The fact that sometimes the situation changes dramatically, in the end, if you are already talking about my personal words, then our units entered Crimea. According to Budinov, these are real-time forecasts and if something turns out a little differently, sorry, this makes its own adjustments. He also noted that he does not respond to the pessimistic forecasts of the West, in particular, that Ukraine could lose the war this year. Oh, so schön, so schön.